Hi, hello, how are you? My name is Nick, AKA Loaded Wombat, and you are looking for how to moderate on mobile or Twitch, like on your phone. Before we jump into that, I do want to remind you that if you do end up enjoying this video, I would love if you would subscribe to the channel and make sure you like the video. About like 98% of people who watch these videos are not subscribed. And I make videos like this on streaming and modding and stuff like that pretty consistently. Would love if you would check those out. Because I do answer questions on stream Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. Pacific time is when I go live. And I'm live for about like five to six hours. So love to see you there as well. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. And let's pause it right there. Uh, I just need you guys to know that this whole video is based on like the iOS side of things or the Apple side of things. So if you have anything that we need to know about Android, make sure you put that in the comments down below. Would love to have a conversation about that between everybody. And yeah, so um, let's get back to the video. So I've got some good news. I've got some bad news when it comes to modding on mobile. Uh, modding on mobile sucks for one. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating. It's gotten better over the time, but not much better. I'm going to have questions about mod view. I know that. And guess what? You're not going to be able to see mod view, at least on iOS, like on the iPhone. That's all the phone I have. Okay. I don't have Android, but when you go into iPhone and you try to go into the desktop view, it's just a freaking mess, dude. It looks really bad. Things are really glitchy, all that kind of stuff. So you can get to mod view by going to the desktop view which is basically going on to Twitch, hitting the two A's on the top and going to show me the desktop view. You can check it out for yourself. Mod view looks atrocious on there in particular and uh, the regular view even looks worse. I do have some good news for you. I have put together some resources for you to make modding on Twitch mobile better. So the first thing that I'm going to bring you to is actually some, some of the basic commands for modding, commands that you can type into the Twitch chat, okay? First one is for timing people out. Yes, sometimes, unfortunately, people get crazy. You gotta time them out. So this is what you would type into the chat. First thing would be forward slash timeout, and then it'll be their username and then the amount of seconds that you want to time them out. After you hit enter on that, it will time them out for that many seconds, okay? It's not minutes, it's seconds. The next one will be for banning people. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes you gotta time them out, then ban them or ban them right away, whatever you wanna do. Uh, but it'll be forward slash ban space and then their username, and that will ban them uh, you know, indefinitely from the chat. If you wanna unban somebody, you'll do slash unban space their username okay it's all forward slash by the way the next thing, one that we'll see here is uh for slow mode what you're going to do for this is you're going to do forward slash slow and then the amount of seconds in between messages that you want people to be, be able to type so once i type one message it'll say you know say you put two seconds it'll take me two seconds to be able to type another message so that's slow mode and then if you want slow mode off all you're gonna do is forward slash slow off. Follower only mode, what you'll do is go forward slash followers and then the amount of time that you want someone to be followed before they can chat. So if you go forward slash followers for 30 minutes then it'll, someone will have to be followed for 30 minutes in order to chat. If you're a small streamer for the love of God, please don't do this at all. Don't even do follower only mode. Unless you're having some crazy moment where you're getting trolls or something. But for the most part, don't do follower only mode. You're asking people to do something for you before you even like entertain them. Let them chat in your chat before they follow you. Okay, come on, come on. And then if you want to turn off follower only mode, you're going to go forward slash followers off. Now, same thing with subscribers only mode. All you're going to do is forward slash subscribers. And then to turn it off, you'll go forward slash subscribers off. In order to purge the chat or clear the chat, all you'll have to do is forward slash clear and that can that deletes all messages within the chat. For something called unique chat, basically whatever they type into the chat has to be different, than, like completely different than what they typed before so they can't spam the same thing over and over again. Then what you'll do is go forward slash unique chat to turn that off, forward slash unique chat off. Emote only mode, you'll go forward slash emote only and then to turn that off, it's forward slash emote only off. Now, a lot of you are like, dang, how am I going to remember those and all that kind of stuff? I've created a little cheat sheet for you guys. It, I'm only going to charge like $5,000 for it. So it's pretty cheap. Uh, it's in the description down below. And just kidding, it's free. Okay, go down there. <laughs> now, a lot of you might be saying, dang, it sucks to mod on mobile. This is like the worst ever, okay? If you're in a small stream, a lot of these things you might not have to use. But if you're in a bigger stream, you probably will have to use a lot of these things. And so just make sure to check out that cheat sheet down below. Now, you might be saying to yourself, man, Modding on mobile kind of sucks and it kind of does. I'm not going to lie to you. It kind of does. But let me show you within the app some of the options you have when you're modding on mobile. One thing that you're going to be able to do as you're looking at the mobile app in particular. And again, I have this on iOS, so I don't I don't really know about the Android side of things. I would love to have a conversation about that in the comments down below for any of our Android users. Uh, maybe we can help each other out in the comments. So what you're gonna do to mod on mobile is you'll, if you need to do something like maybe time somebody out or ban somebody, that kind of stuff, what you'll be able to do is click on the name of the person and right away, you're gonna see timeout, ban, 
you're gonna see copy message and then you're gonna see user actions. If you wanna get a little bit more in depth, you can go over to user actions. Obviously you can time out ban there. Then you'll see things like whisper, mention, add a friend, uh, block. You're gonna see timeout, ban, report, cancel. Cool. Now, now, unfortunately, when it comes to all the other things, you actually have to type in the slash whatever in order to do those things while you're in a chat. The last thing that I want to talk about with you is adding commands. Now, I'm not going to go over how to add commands, which because that's kind of a video in itself. And I have already made that video. If you're looking for that, go into the cards up here or here. I don't remember which side it's on, but whichever side that's on, uh, go up into the cards up there to go watch how to add a command in Nightbot, how to add a command in Streamlabs Cloudbot, and how to add a command in Stream Elements Chatbot. Okay, so go over there to check that out. But one thing about commands that really makes you a great mod is being able to add commands that the streamer needs kind of as they're going. Make sure you guys kind of learn this piece of it. All you have to do with that command is to type those into the chat and you can do it through there, which is super helpful. So hopefully this video was very helpful for you. I kind of, I feel like we could dive into this topic even more so. So make sure you guys put in the comments down below if there's any areas that you want me to talk about or modding on mobile in particular. Thank you so much for watching again. If you could like, subscribe, all that good stuff, I'd really appreciate it. Make sure you come over and say hi on stream. I'm live 10 a.m. Pacific time, all the way till around like like 4 p.m. Pacific time, somewhere around there. Come say hi if you uh, if you catch me live. Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching the video. Peace.